The IAEA swept on with its mission in 2024, carrying its work to support peace and development further out into the world. We launched our first Antarctic research mission using nuclear techniques to track plastic pollution. In Japan, we monitored the release of treated water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. In Nigeria and many other nations, we work to increase access to cancer care. In Ukraine, the IAEA delivered medical equipment as part of wider agency efforts to prevent a nuclear accident during the ongoing conflict. And our teams crossed the front line to visit our permanent mission at Zaporizhia, assess damage from fighting, and repeat to all sides that. Attacking a nuclear power plant ladies and gentlemen, is an absolute no-go. At the VIC, more than 22,000 visitors came to our international events. Among the first was World Cancer Day, marked with high-level discussions focused on providing cancer care for all. Thank you for allowing me the privilege of standing before you today as a three-time cancer survivor and advocate. The Rays of Hope initiative is not just about treating cancer, it's about bringing hope to those who are often left in the shadows of inadequate healthcare systems. To celebrate International Women's Day, hundreds of women working in nuclear gathered and called for more women to join the field. Leading us onwards was ICONS, focused on the future of nuclear security amid a complex and changing world. At the General Conference, the Scientific Forum showed how Atoms for Food is attracting countries to help increase food security and tackle growing hunger. Buoyed by growing global interest in small modular reactors, our first international SMR conference drew large numbers. While the Ministerial Conference highlighted the role of nuclear science and technologies in achieving sustainable development. On the international stage, the IAEA was a frequent presence, organizing with Belgium the first nuclear energy summit. In Brussels, leaders confirmed their commitment to expanding the use of nuclear power. Extending the safe operation of today's nuclear fleet is one of the cheapest ways to secure clean power at scale, so it can help pave a cost-effective path to net zero. This is a fight where we have to use all the available, dispatchable, CO2-free energy sources for the common challenge, which is to decarbonize our energy matrices as soon as we can. The Director General reported to the UN Security Council on the precarious situation at Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. A few months later, he was at the Summit of the Future, ahead of the UN General Assembly, outlining how the agency's work is helping to build a better future. Embracing that future, the agency held the first ministerial meeting of the World Fusion Energy Group in Rome, helping to propel fusion technology towards reality. The agency moved swiftly on to COP29 in Baku, pressing for greater financing for nuclear to help achieve net zero and promote sustainable development. Then to Iran for the second time this year to discuss at the highest levels its nuclear program and visit some nuclear facilities there. Our achievements this year are a firm platform for the years to come. We are proud of the past and energized for the future.